Hello, how do we solve this pretty equation? Solution Let's multiply both sides by 3 to get rid of this denominator. So we're going to have 3 times 25 raised to the power x plus 10 raised to the power x over 3 equals 3 times 2 raised to the power 2x plus 1. This takes care of this. So we have x plus 10 raised to the power x equals 3 times. We can write this guy as 2 raised to the power 2x times 2 by laws of indices. This implies 25 raised to the power x plus 10 raised to the power x is equals to 3 times 2, that is 6, times this guy can be written as 2 square times x. This implies 25 raised to the power x plus 10 raised to the power x is equals to 6. 2 square that is 4, so we have times 4 raised to the power x. Now, let's divide both sides of this equation by 4 raised to the power x. So we're going to have 4 raised to the power x. We have 4 raised to the power x. We also have 4 raised to the power x. Recall that whenever we have a raised to the power n over b raised to the power n, we can write it as a over b times n. So using these properties, we're going to have 25 over 4 times x plus 10 over 4 times x is equal to 6 because this guy cancels this. So let's proceed further. 25 can be written as 5 square over, we can also write 4 as 2 raised to the power 2 times x plus, let's reduce this guy, 2 in 10 that is 5 over 2 in 4 that is 2 raised to the power x equals 6. This base could be written as 5 over 2 times 2 times the power which is x plus 5 over 2 raised to the power x equals 6. This implies we can switch this power. So we're going to have 5 over 2 raised to the power x times 2 plus 5 over 2 raised to the power x equals 6. Now, let's assume p is equals to 5 over 2 raised to the power x. So anyway, we see this guy, we are going to replace it with p. So this implies that we're going to have p square plus p equals 6. Which also could be written as p square plus p minus 6 equals 0. Clearly, we can factorize this guy. So we're going to have p square plus 3p minus 2p minus 6 equals 0. So p is common. Let's pull it out. We're going to have p into p plus 3 minus 2 into p plus 3 equals 0. This implies p plus 3 because p plus 3 is common times p minus 2 equals 0. So we have p plus 3 equals 0 or p minus 2 equals 0. So p is equals to negative 3 or p is equals to 2. Now when p equals to 2, we are going to plug it here. So we're going to have 2 equals 5 over 2 raised to the power x. If we take the natural logarithm of both sides, we're going to have lane 2 equals lane 5 over 2 raised to the power x. Now, recall that whenever we have lane a raised to the power b, we can write it as b times lane a. So using this property for this guy, we're going to have x times lane 5 over 2 equals lane 2. If we divide both sides by lane 5 over 2, we're going to have x equals lane 2 over lane 5 over 2. This implies that x equals to lane 2 over. Now, let's say we have lane a over b. This can be written as lane a minus lane b. So using these properties for this denominator, we're going to have lane 5 minus lane 2, which is the required solution. We ignore this guy because it has no solution when p equals to negative 3, when we plug it here. 